Hey guys, I got something really special. I, I guess you can say sent to me, but not sent to me. <laughs> I'm going to show you an email so y'all don't run off. We're going to read it from a viewer. Now, he sent me the a uh, card and the link to this thing because apparently he's been watching my videos a long time. And this one here, uh, after a while, these will go out of... Um, accuracy they'll lose their accuracy not a lot but they will lose their accuracy and this is only good for 500 degrees so he loves my oil heater videos and heating and cooling videos so we're going to go to this and i want y'all to pay attention and we're going and we're going to do a, a follow-up explaining this thing here and uh if you're watching this video i know you practically never post on my videos but if you want to post uh shy types don't seem to like to do this but I'm going to show the email, not your information, but the email, and we're going to read it. So y'all stick with me here. Let's go. Mr. Daniel, you did a video on improve RV air conditioning cooling. I thought the video was a little hard to follow. However, I decided to crawl on top of my fifth wheel, which is the only thing my family has now, and check out to try and make it run better. Without your video making me think to make mine run better, cool, I would have never went up there. We're at a park and do not have to pay the electric, just 600 a month, and all things are covered. He doesn't exactly fill in all the missing things, so I will as I go. However, very hot this summer, and I decided to get up top and take a look at my air conditioner like you were showing, and it was terrible how the cover was made. The reason that I am writing you is that you probably saved my family's life. I am a single father with two boys. When we opened up the top of the air conditioner we had to jump off the trailer there was thousands of hornets in my air conditioner i consider it was dangerous but my seven-year-old son is deadly allergic to them and they had started to come into the trailer and we did not know where they were coming from you having me look underneath caught it just in time before they had made it through the paneling it was thin as paper at the time the local bug exterminator said we were within days of our trailer being instantly filled with thousands of hornets. He put his fingers through it. They add eight through the roof under the air conditioner to the inside attic space under it. Now for an RV, they don't have very much attic space. They're like three and a half inches. You know, it could go as wide as five feet or so, but. I was stung 16 times and ended up in the hospital. If my son had been stung this many times, he would be dead. He was stung once last week and I had to, and had to be rushed to the doctor. So I am sending you a gift that cost me a few dollars to replace the old infrared thermometer or temperature thermometer you use in most of your videos going back a long time with a better one. I bought one for myself too. And I thought of your videos and how you always answer so many of us watching with help replies. I tend to do that, I guess. I have included a gift card number and link to get, get it, and please do so. It was not easy to get. And show it in a video so I know you got it. Thank you so much, Isaac. He put a link down the below. There's a card number that he sent a prepaid card number for $35 um, and I blacked out his last name and that card number but below there's the link he sent me all right so let's let's go back into the video here and uh, we're gonna check out what Isaac sent and Isaac this one's for you all right so guys you seen that email um, 
you know, I do a lot of this DIY, trying to help people, show them ways to do things. And, you know, when you do some of this DIY, you, you, <laughs> you can come across some pretty unique discoveries yourself. And he did. And it's damn nice to know. Um, insects like that, they will, they will travel, especially hornets. They love getting into these RVs. Uh, paneling glue somehow just, you know, makes them crazy. Um, I want you all to look below the video. I'm going to put a link to this and go check this one out we're going to show you how it works and i've been using this and um another thing y'all if you have a chance y'all look at those links down below the video i've put the buy me a coffee thing on there and i've got a job i'm doing this is how I'll, this the only way i'm making anything nowadays is i'm installing solar and stuff and this is laid out for a job um so it's good to be a table right now but uh you know, it's pretty significant when you can, you know, send somebody somewhere that helps them out. All right. It's a good thing. Now, this little unit right here has got a really nice screen and setup and everything on it. It's also got a port on the side, as you might have seen in the beginning of the video there. Um, it's a sensor and it is, this thing is capable of a huge amount of temperature variation. Um, this one here, I think I mistakenly said 500. I think it's 550, and it faults as high temp, over temps. And it's probably about 3 degrees on 100 out of whack now. Um, something goes on with those things, the sensor in them. But this one has a lot of stuff. I mean, this is a pretty significant little manual that's on it, and it teaches you everything, uh, including your max temperatures and all that it also comes with its own battery so i like this this is nice this is easy to use it has all different modes on it celsius and everything else so you get on here and you can look at all the different modes and it tells you your high temperature your storage temperatures all the stuff that you have in here and it's pretty significant so you see that right there it shows you active here's what i want to show you it's kind of cool here i'm going to uh, maybe turn that uh the the laser light back it's a laser light for that and i want to show you what this looks like here check this out isn't that cool here do it on this cardboard here i don't know if you can see that i had to do it on something darker but uh here we'll do it darker we'll do it on item a huh look at this item a she says no don't shoot me with the laser all right i put the uh the little thermometer here from the side inside this freezer and I'm going to go ahead and plug it in here. So give me just a second, and I'll plug this in. I'm not getting really good doing things with one hand. So just in case my arm gets cut off, I'm probably okay, right? All right, so you're going to put it like that, and then give the trigger a squeeze, and it'll catch up with itself. So right now inside this freezer is negative 5.2. That's what it's got. Out here on the floor is 75 degrees. So you're asking yourself, why would one of these be so important to own? Man, you got no idea how important if you're wiring up stuff like this and you got a panel that's acting up, it's going to be the hot one. You, you get it? Um, say you're wanting to put something in your well house. I want to show you this. I just got this thing here for my water well. So I've got to replace my uh, water tank there. And um, we're going to be replacing it. And I'm going to put this one like it. I got another one built um, inside there. So I'm going to show you here. This is what it runs at. It runs at about 175, 180 degrees, uh, actually cooler than a 100 watt light bulb. They run at about 300. And um, this is just nothing but this. I'll put a link to that video somewhere up here and you'll see this. But these are really easy to build. And these heat sinks here are just out of a uh, old RV refrigerator. It's the uh, condenser, uh, condensing heat sink. So um, this comes with a really good booklet and it does have all the information that you would need. Now, let's get it over here. I'm going to show you here. That just showed you that temperature inside. Now, of course, you know, when it comes to the refrigerator, you have different spots of temperature everywhere. But look down there. This thing's been running nonstop. It's set at 2 degrees, I think negative 2 or something. So we'll go down in here. I think it's 2, 2 degrees. So there it is. One point, negative 1 point, negative 1.6. So that's pretty accurate. So that's negative 1, negative 2, I think. But this little thing here is very impressive very impressive and you will see something else using using the old using the old thermal gun i figured out exactly where i wanted to put a fan because inside of this i had a lot of problems with the hot spots and it didn't ventilate itself so i put this in there with a thermal click switch that when it gets up to a certain temperature it comes on so you can see that 
85 degrees C. And then out here on the floor, 76 degrees. For some reason, summertime heat has really wicked its way in. I put a towel on these, and it makes them work a lot better. Now, why would you have one of these? All right, say you've got a battery bank, 20 batteries, 10 batteries, lithium, lead, doesn't matter. And you're having power problems, and you don't know why. And you can go through taking everything apart, because that's what you'd have to do. But if you wait till they've got a full charge, or you're putting a heavy load on the batteries, you can come out and you can just do this. And then you're just gonna go from there, to there, to there. And when you find the battery that's abnormal temperature, whether high or low, then you know where your problem lies at. Disconnect it and see if the rest of your stuff works. So you see the value, real genuine value of something like this, or what if Ida May what if Ida May had, what, what if Ida May had had fear of lasers disorder, and you needed to check her temperature, right? So about 89 degrees on the fur there. So these are really important. If you've got electrical wiring in your walls that you're smelling something and you don't know where it's coming from, you can just go along the baseboard or along the out outlets, and you can find a hot spot with these. You don't have to have an expensive infrared camera. They are accurate enough to do that, and this is a very much upgraded model. So I do like I do like this really cool centering, and it is on accurate. I mean, I literally just moved this around a little bit, and it's very accurate, and I think it's about 1,200 degrees capable, which, uh, um, don't quote me, <laughs> But it had it in here, it showed its maximum temperature. I think it was like 1200 and negative, negative 100 and stuff like that. It was pretty ridiculous what it can do. And, um, but you can take a look at that and you can see what it's capable of doing here. Um, multiple settings, multiple rangings, and a, very, a big distance too. Um, about 25 feet, it was pretty much right in within 5 degrees at 25 feet. And that gives you all the specs, teaches you what it does. So it's it's pretty um, it's pretty interesting what these things do. I mean, this is even telling you all the different temperature variations that might be involved with materials. So you're able to adjust. So I find it to be quite an impressive little tool. I didn't get none of that with this old general. This This thing here is... I don't know, it might be 10 years old. And I've had it forever and I showed it in a lot of videos, but pretty simple setup, guys. And go look. I'm going to put that link below the video. Go look at that. If y'all want to help support what we're doing here, you know, throw, throw something in the buy me a coffee thing. But Isaac, that's a hell of a nice tool. And I do like what it can do. It is impressive. It seems to always start out at zero, see? But this is impressive. And it does have very, very, very nice features. And you can go through all kinds. You can store the features. You can change. You can turn the light, the LED off or the the uh, laser tracking off on it. Turn it back on. And if you hold it down, it cycles through and it gets rid of the memory. So pretty simple with the batteries. A lot of these that are about 15 or 20 bucks, man, they're just, they're, they're, they don't have a lot of accuracy. And they damn sure don't come with one of these that you could literally take and put a nail hole in the wall and stick it in your wall and find out where you have something going wrong in your wall or you can use this for food preparation it's that good there you go guys tartar cheap affordable functional i like it we're going to see it a lot more videos y'all be good